Let's go on a holiday. Holidays. It is an extended period of recreation, especially away from home. Accommodation. Somewhere to stay, such as a hotel, when you are away from home. Luggage. The suitcases and bags in which you carry your clothes and other things when you go on a holiday. Brochure. A magazine with pictures, prizes, etc. of places you can go on holiday. Package holiday. A holiday for which you pay a fixed price that includes transport and accommodation. Backpack. A bag that you carry on your back. Guide. A person who shows you around an interesting place and tells you about it. Postcard A card with a picture on one side and space on the other side to write a message and the address of the person you want to send it to. Vacation A period spent away from home during holidays. Snapshot Often shortened to snap, a photograph that you take quickly. Tent, a temporary shelter made of fabric supported by poles. People used postcard for sending messages in those days. Last time we went camping, it rained and the tent leaked. It is easier to go on a package holiday for a vacation. The guide explained us about the temple. My sister went to Singapore for her summer vacation. The travel agent told us that there were no flights available. Kavya carried a backpack during her travel. The tourist office will send you a list of hotels and other accommodation in the city. We carried a few luggage to the resort. My friend took a lot of snapshots on the hilltop. Do you know what is a hotel? Hotel An establishment providing accommodation and meals for travellers and tourists. Balcony A small flat area outside the room that you can use. Check-in To tell the staff at a hotel that you have arrived and usually sign the register. Check-out To tell the staff at a hotel that you are leaving and usually pay your bill. Corridor A long narrow part of a hotel with a number of rooms on each side. Key A piece of metal or plastic with which you can unlock a locked door. Reception 
a counter in the front of a hotel where you can check in, check out, etc. Lounge, a room with comfortable seats where people can relax. Unpack, to take things out of your luggage. Porter, a person whose job is to help people to carry luggage. Room service, a service in hotel that lets guests order food and drinks which are bought to their room. We are sitting in a lounge of the hotel. She ordered for a room service to bring food. Veena hurried up as she had to check in the hotel before 12 noon. Rooms on the upper floors of the hotel have a balcony with fine views. Please leave your key at the reception when you go out from the hotel room. You must check out from the hotel before 11 a.m. Your room is on the same floor as mine, on the opposite side of the corridor. The lady is working in the reception counter of the office. Anita unpacked her suitcase and put her clothes away. The porter carried all our luggages. Papa, let's learn about cars. Cars, a powered road vehicle designed to carry a less number of people. Axle A long piece of metal that joins a pair of wheels together at the front or back of a car. Diesel A type of liquid fuel used in vehicle without which it cannot run. Bumper a long thin part at the front or back of a car just above the wheels that is meant to protect the car if it hits something. Engine A part of a car that burns fuel to make the power that makes the vehicle move. Headlights The lights at the front of a car that shows the road in front of it. Service to check that a car is working properly and do any necessary repairs. Rear view A mirror inside the car at the top of the windscreen in which the driver can see the road behind the car. Speedometer A thing on a dashboard that shows you how fast the car is going. Registration number a set of letters and numbers on a plate at the front and back of a vehicle. Fuel tank A container in a car for the fuel that the engine uses. Arvind watches speedometer of the vehicle 
to know how fast he is driving. Our car uses diesel and not petrol. The driver looked in his rear view mirror and saw a bus chasing him. The only damage to the car was a small dent in the bumper. Cars have to be serviced regularly to keep them running well. The car was too far away to read the registration number clearly. The fuel tank of the car was filled with petrol. The car stopped suddenly due to the failure of engine. The headlights of the bus broke as it hit a wall. axle connecting the front wheels was damaged in the accident. Colors Color is a quality of a thing which you see by your eyes. Like purple, blue. A light color looks as if you have added white to a color. You may also use the word pale color. A fair color is a very light color. Dark color looks as if you have added black to a color. Brown is a dark reddish color. The color of a wood is brown. Paint is a liquid used to give colors to anything. Crayon is a colored wax. You can draw pictures and color them with crayons. Ink is a blue colored liquid. Ink is used in pen. It is also used in printing machines and in printers. Rainbow is an arch of seven colors. It may appear in the sky in rainy days during daytime. The seven colors of the rainbow is called spectrum. Auburn is reddish brown. Some people like to have auburn color for their hair. Black is the darkest color. It is the color of coal. Blonde is a light and fair color. A blonde colored hair is a golden yellow color. The color of a clear sky on a sunny day is blue. Grass is green in color. By mixing red and blue colors, you can make purple color. Ram uses crayons to draw color pictures on his notebook. The colored liquid that you use to color something is called paint.
Jeevan uses blue color ink in his pen. My grandpa is very old. His hair is gray in color. Teeth are milky white. My eyes are as black as coal. After sun bath, Saumya's skin is tanned. Let's learn about buildings. Buildings A structure with roof and walls. Architect A person who designs buildings. Castle A large building with strong walls built long ago for protection or defense. Bank a business that looks after people's money. Construct, a more formal word for build. Estate, an area of land with a number of buildings of the same type, such as houses or factories on it. Power station, a large building, usually with tall chimneys, where electricity is produced. Museum, a building where things of historical interest are displayed for people to look at. Prison, a building where criminals must stay for a particular length of time as a punishment. Site, the piece of land where one or more buildings are located. Property, a building, especially a house, and the land it stands on. The museum has an interesting collection of Stone Age tools. This is the site of the original temple. The old power station has been converted into an art gallery. The prison was designed to make it very difficult for anyone to get out. Most of the factories are on an industrial estate. The castle was originally built to defend the town against invaders. Save money in a nationalized bank. My parents hired an architect to design our new home. I want to construct a new library. Property prices in this area have risen much. Appearance How others see you Your body Your face Your dress Is your appearance If you are nice to look at 
your appearance is attractive that means you are good looking if a girl or woman is very nice to look at she is beautiful or pretty if a boy or man is nice to look at he is handsome a person is ugly if the person is not nice to look at the shape of your body is your figure face is the front part of head waist is the middle portion of your body your skirt or pant hugs around your waist a dimple is a small hollow in your cheek or chin a small brown spot on your skin is called freckle hair is the thin soft thing that grows on your head how you arrange your hair is your hairstyle a fat person weighs a lot to put on weight is to become fatter an obese person is a very fat person obesity is bad for health a thing is thin if it is small from side to side if somebody is thin and looks nice that person is slim too slim is to become thinner if somebody is too thin that person is skinny Shreya is a beautiful girl. She is very pretty. After so many years, I could not recognize my friend when I met him. The hero in the film has a handsome figure. Morali has curly hair. Because of eating too much of junk food, Guna has become obese. When Sangeeta smiles, she gets a beautiful dimple on her cheeks. Our teacher measured my height to see how tall I am. Family doctor has advised my mom to lose weight because she is obese. Look at the mirror when you brush your teeth. Clothes. Clothes are the dresses that we wear. A cap is a small piece of rough cloth worn above the head. A blouse is a loose garment worn by women. It looks like a shirt. A shoe covering up to your ankle is called boot boot is worn during wet climate a collar is that part of a shirt or jacket around the neck fabric is the material used to make clothes zip button or hook is to hold two edges of a garment a dress fits your body if it is the right size for you garment is a formal word for clothing you wear a glove to cover your hand a jacket is a garment worn over other clothes on the top portion of your body jeans are trousers made out of thick cotton fabric
in wet weather you wear boots on your foot Meena is pulling her jumper over her head Our school uniform is black trousers or skirt and blue shirt. Nalini's blouse is made of silk fabric. Ravi looks very smart in his elegant suit. Next to your skin and below your formal clothes, you wear underwear. A light blue color tie goes well with a navy blue suit. Raj has grown up. He has grown the pant size of 30 inches waist. It is very hot outside. Please wear a sun hat on your head. My cousin in Saudi Arabia wears a scarf while going out. About hair. Hair is the thin soft thing that grows on your head Baba is the person who trims men's hair Baba shop is the place where men get their hair trimmed Hair dresser is a person who cuts and styles people's hair Saloon is the place where a hair dresser works Hair style is the way your hair looks after a hair cut to style is to cut and arrange someone's hair comb is a flat object with row of narrow parts comb is for arranging your hair to comb one's hair is to tidy one's hair curler is a small object that you wear to make your hair curly a tube shaped curler is called roller a hair grip is an object to hold part of your hair in position shampoo is a liquid used to wash your hair to shampoo is to wash the hair with a shampoo a hair conditioner is a thick liquid after washing your hair you apply hair conditioner hair conditioner makes your hair healthy and shiny hair spray is liquid in a can You spray it on your hair to hold your hairstyle. You can also use a gel for holding your hairstyle. Such a gel is called hair gel. You can change the color of your hair using a dye. A dye is a chemical substance. To dye is to change the color of your hair with a dye. Ponytail is a hairstyle. Long hair is bunched together. to look like a horse's tail Prabhu told his hairdresser to give him a mushroom cut hairstyle
Kavita had braided her hair into many plaits. Every Sunday, Suganya washes her hair with shampoo. Are you using a curler to make your hair curly? I use a hair conditioner to keep my hair healthy and shiny. Ram is going to the barber shop for a haircut. Padmini put a hair grip to hold her hair in position. My parents have curly hair, but mine is straight. My mom advises me to dry my hair with a hair dryer to avoid catching cold. Will you please tidy your hair using a comb? Let's take a look at agriculture. Agriculture The science or practice of farming including the rearing of crops and animals. Farm A large area of land in the countryside where people grow crops or rare animals. Barn, a large building on a farm in which animals, farm equipment or fodder are kept. Cattle, farm animals of a related group that includes cows, bulls and oxen. Plantation, a large farm where crops such as tea or cotton are grown. Wheat A plant with seeds that are ground to make flour. Livestock Animals kept and reared on a farm. Straw The dried stems of cut crops used for various purposes. For example, used as bedding for animals. Hay, grass that has been cut and dried for fodder. Reap, to cut and collect ripe crops. Poultry, birds kept for meat and eggs, such as chickens. The hay is stored in the barn. They keep chickens and other poultry in the farmyard. The rubber comes from a plantation in Malaysia. Smita put some clean straw in the cow shed for the animals to lie on. The flour for the bread is made from wheat. My family has a farm in our village.
the horses stood in the corner of the field munching their hay. He has no livestock on his farm. The wheat was ripe and ready for reaping. We had to sell some of our cattle to pay our bills. Let's learn about aquatic animals. Aquatic animals The different kinds of animals which live only in water. Aquarium A glass box filled with water and put fish in so that one can look at them indoors. Fishing rod A long stick with a fishing line at the end. Mammal Animals that give birth to young ones and produces milk for its babies. Flat fish A fish that has a flat body with both eyes on the same side. Plankton Tiny aquatic animals or plants that float near the surface and are eaten by fish. Fresh water The water which is not salty like sea and is fresh and clean like lakes and ponds. Whale a very large marine mammal with flippers and a tail. Seahorse A fish with a head shape like that of a horse and a long curled tail. Turtle An aquatic reptile that has a shell and four legs with flattened ends which it uses for swimming. Shellfish an aquatic animal with a shell. An elephant is a mammal. Flat fish is found on the seabed. Nirmala was indoors feeding the fish in her aquarium. You do not go to sea to catch freshwater fish. Despite its name, a seahorse is not a mammal. The fish feed on plankton floating in the water. Turtle is the young one of a tortoise. I saw a large whale in the sea. We use a fishing rod to catch a fish. Not all shellfish are crustaceans.